The day is over. Your timely efforts allowed your supporters to remain unharmed. A new mime performance is being rehearsed at the theater. Hold on. I'm practicing my moves. <laughs> I did a whole bunch of killing. Our reputation was in the gutter. Like, worse than the gutter. And, and since Alexander Block's men are here, I was getting shot at. Like, con constantly. Constantly. I was unable to move around. So I dumped, like, 8,000 on the... Uh, the poor guys that are roaming around with their heads all drooped. I don't know their character model name, but I gave them 8k so they feel better and they'll spread the word. But that only got me so far, so I had to go out and do some killing. But now we're ready for day 10. Hopefully, it's a little different. I don't know. We'll see. My orders were to destroy every building in this town and then to shoot everyone who survives the bombardment. Uh Palestine. The only comes when there's nothing to fix anymore. I'm keen on breaking that habit, though. I know that the people that can change the course of the catastrophe have been working here for some time. We will only destroy the thing pointed at by a healer who can argue in favor of taking such action. How about not shooting at all? If we don't shoot anything at all, the consequences will be devastating. You wanted freedom of choice. So choose a massive shelling or a single pinpoint strike. One way or another, we'll put an end to this circus. Man, Pathologic, I play you to get away from having to make two choices of both greater evils. <laughs> Especially this week. Holy shit. Choose. They both suck horrendously. Make your choice. Only knowing. Also. Yeah. Yeah. I think we need to go get some sleep. That's okay. I mean, I don't know. I guess I, I would definitely choose the Pathologic world over the United States of America <laughs> right now. Fuck yeah. Mm-hmm. If not for anything but uh Artaby, Danny, and of course Ruben. I hope we get to see Ruben soon, actually. Mm-hmm. And Schmouters. I wanna know what they taste like. I know it's like it's basically Drano. It's like drinking Drano. <laughs> like drain cleaner. Probably. But still. I don't know why things like that entice me. I did not get into the whole Tide Pod challenge thing, believe it or not. Even even with these in, impulsions. Impulsions? Sure. I don't care. All right, let's go sleep. Impulses. Hey, Dad. I'm just going to bed. Sorry, you haven't seen me lately. I'm sure you and Mom have been very busy. I found a schmouter, so that's good. And we have another cure, too. So what does that give us? Hey, rat friends. Six, do not do not get into the schmouter of panacea. I didn't think about this. <laughs> They might get into it. I hope. No, they know better. Feels like cheese panacea or a cheese flavored panacea or something. Then they would eat it or garbage. But so two panaceas, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. I'm going to keep the one schmatter on us just in case. But nine is a good number. Uh, We'll just keep hitting up Artemy for more panaceas. I think we'll be able to get, was it 10? So we'll be able to get three more. So that brings us up to 12. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, we need to do our evening routine. I only have one water to moisturize with, though. Maybe we have morphine. Okay, that'll be good. Yeah, we're sleeping the full six hours. So, so yeah. Uh, nightly routine. Oh, I got double moisturization. It's okay. Brings our exhaustion up heavily. Uh, hopefully this exhaustion doesn't kill us. Here. No. Quick save real quick. <laughs> just, in day, just in case. It does kill us. 
Okay, no, not quite. It tried to, but not quite. Oh, I already had a morphine on me. All right. Here, we'll put you back then. We'll put you back. Okay. I think we're good. Hunger? That's not going to hold. I remember. Whole fish and sleep. <sighs> it all ends in less than three days. Day 10, in which Clara deciphers the hidden purpose of her miracles. Oh, and the changeling accepts the inevitable inevitability of death. Hmm. We get letters? Oh, yeah. Letter from our sister. Is it safe outside? What are we looking? Oh, God. <laughs> the infected districts. The flank. The knots. Or the spine. Isn't this the mouth? I think that's called the... No, that's like the, the cathedral district. But I do think it's called like the mouth or something. Um, And then the factory. Okay. I mean, everything's... I mean, in the middle, it's really clear. So that's nice. Oh, I did find... I Okay. So uh, being completely honest, I did have to look up where the uh, the, where the followers were. I didn't capture it on camera. But, uh, but I had to look it up. It's like one of the first things. I, I think I accidentally looked up one other thing. And found the answer to it but uh yeah right here is where they were <laughs> right right next to isidore's house i scoured everywhere like i went into day 10 like one and a half times just combing every district Th that quest kind of sucks i don't know i guess you don't have to do it but then everything would be permanently infected so i just made great use of the of the load save function and i still couldn't find them Still couldn't find them. So, I don't know. I don't know what to do. So, we read our letter. We have no tasks. Yeah, we just have our little sister's task. And then, I don't know. Hopefully, we get a letter sometime soon. Here, let's take care of our hunger. Cool. And our sickness. Yeah. Exhaustion's gone and health is full. And we have four bandages. So, that's great. I dreamt of her tonight. Just like the night before. She was all tortured and torn. All she did was look at me. She didn't say a word this time. She was hiding in a house yet again, cowering in the corner away from the windows. Oh, so that's different. The crowd was roaring outside. They shouted. They made all manner of racket. But this time, it wasn't her they were after. They were celebrating the arrival of a bull that appeared unexpectedly in the middle of an empty lot. Ooh, the bone steak lot, I think. Some of them screamed that the boss has risen from beneath the ground. The others shouted that it came down from heaven, only to be pierced by the stake that was prepared for her down below, or for it down below. There she is again. I can see now that she is precisely who she pretends to be. I definitely need to find her. The infected district is the place to search. For where else might she hide herself? If somebody drives her out, the pestilence will leave her. But if she is allowed to stay, the disease will remain as well. So it being about the bone steak lot, I guess is the clue, right? Because the bone steak lot is indeed infected. Yeah, it's infected. So it's one of these buildings right here. Yeah, I don't know if I want to start out the day like that. This is an awful way to start the day. But uh, I guess we got to do what we got to do. Let's go looking. Here, I'm going to grab one of those Omega immunity boosters first. Before we do that, then we'll head back in. Gulp. All right, bone steak lot. Which, which homes? I don't know, I'm focused on these four for some reason. But it said that she's not gonna be on the, she's not gonna be at the window anymore. She's like cowering in one of the corners. So, hey man, can you fix my, oh yeah, right. You can't fix shit. Yeah, none of the doors are over here, though. Hmm. I guess. Yeah, yeah. This one looks looks like pretty good. Pretty good. Other Clara? Nope. <gasps> Clara. 
clear it, clear it. Is that you? No. Okay. All right, let's check upstairs. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Holy shit, we did it. Hey, hey, I can't get to you very well. First house checked. Holy shit, that's amazing. You need to leave. Go away regardless. I am asking kindly. All right, then. Stay here. Don't go anywhere. Dust same. I have no idea where uh, Sir Daniel and Sir Artemis is, though. Not sure. That was easy, though. Good. Um, so I don't know where they are. So are we going to get another quest about Danny and Artemis fighting again? And I have to go tell... I hope not. They really, like... I, I, they put a lot of effort into the game. I'm not I'm not unappreciative of that. But if it is a third day of those same side quests, they kind of phoned it in here on the changeling route towards the end. Oh, I have a bad feeling that that's what it's going to be. Oh, man. No. No. Uh, I don't know what to do, so I'm going to wander the town. Just digging through garbage. like Like the garbage raccoon that I am. I will be Zizak-esque. Hey guys, you got this corner covered? <laughs> There's so many men out here. Why? That was insane. Oh, <gasps> letter. I haven't even started yet. I just got to the district. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, I just got safe. Oh, well. I mean, it's a good thing, right? Oh, oh it's from Nakin. You're famous. <laughs> Come at once. Everybody is searching for you still. Although not as much as they did before. You're on the good side of the canes now. Are we? Doesn't feel like it. So, better watch the Inquisitor. Ruben, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I mean, we already know the Inquisitor is pretty much done with us, except for all the extra help that she requires every single fucking day. Ruben has made a dis- Oh, we do get to see Ruben today. I had a feeling. Made a discovery about you. Okay. Signed by the hand of Notkin. <laughs> the soul and a half chieftain. What a title. I dreamt of her tonight. He did not write that part. Nope, that was our letter. All right. Um, dude, you shouldn't be depressed. I gave you $8,000 last night, man. 8,000. Money just can't buy happiness. Maybe it's the sweater. It's making him so depressed. Yeah. Yeah. I feel that way too, buddy. It's been a rough week. Uh, okay, knocking. Yeah. <laughs> All the way down there. Super, let's go. Dude, I found so many bottles. Yeah, 10 bottles. I could get more bandages now. Oh, I want to see what Vlad's doing. Hi, Vlad. Are you okay? He's so antisocial. He's like very socially awkward. It's kind of hard to have a conversation with him, but that's okay. But we still love him. Who lives without folly is not so wise as he thinks. And those are always his greetings. He greets everybody like that. It's so, <laughs> it's so, it's so Vlad. I love it. Oh no, <laughs> not again. Knock him. He can't handle another schmouter, man. <laughs> he can't handle another schmouter. Seriously? Oh my God, damn it, man. I'm glad I found that extra. Does that mean that he won't get sick like towards the ending of the game? Like if I have to potentially heal other people? I hope not. I don't even know what's gonna I don't know what's gonna happen at the end, so I just wanted to like build up as many panaceas and schmouters as possible. But I don't know if it's gonna affect us having like we already gave one to God, like Artemis letting everybody get well, okay, to be fair, Nakin gets like so sick. I remember I had to give him like three schmouters or something when I played through path two. So that's just what happens. I have schmouters. Yes, yes, give it to him. He's so tough. He's he's been through it. Not only in this dimension, but in the path two dimension too, as well. It's so weird. I feel like canonically now, since Pathologic 2 came out, and it's just basically like this game, except for a little different. It's just like a another universe. That's how I view the Pathologic universe. Is like, is like each playable character is their own reality unto themselves, and then each game is its own reality unto itself. Yeah, it's 
it's kind of strange especially now that like you guys have let me know through the comments that like during the playthroughs of each of these characters like between danny artemy and and clara that that the the routes kind of differ at least where the people are at and what their ambitions are and what they're doing so yeah it's like it's like three different universes or four different universes chieftain notkin how can i help what's up i smell smoke are they burning trash again have you heard the news what news Ruben's made a discovery about you. You should see how they're fussing now. Okay, maybe it having to do with Clara's blood then? Possibly. Walking around, bribing the kids and sending out messengers. As if... As if we were on the eve of battle, no less. And it's all to do with you. Hmm. Who's they? Probably Ruben and Danny, most likely. Uh, why do you think so? They're all Clara this and Clara that and... How it'll be the worst thing in the world if you slip away. The two of the lads heard that Reuben and The Bachelor, yeah, figured, having an argument about you. So heated that they almost got into a fight. Reuben would win. Reuben is a monster. Pity the almost. <laughs> no. We love our boy Reuben. Uh, what do they want from me? I'm telling you. Reuben's found out something about you. Or maybe you've done something nasty. Not that he'd be in any position to judge you if you did pot calling the kettle black and all that reuben was just trying to help okay yeah he desecrated simon's fantastic corpse but who cares same goes for the rest of the gentlemen and you what do you think i'm just gonna go find out what's going on well i've warned you so my work here is done will you join our gang yeah i might sure i wouldn't be uh i wouldn't mind being part of the souls and the halves I do I get my own little like ghost cat? Yeah, I would get my own ghost cat. Otherwise I couldn't be a soul and a half. So, oh, that'd be such a cool side quest. Break a leg. Break a leg to you too. <laughs> yeah, I get my own little ghost kitty. He'd be a tough little ghost cat with like one of his ears bitten off. I don't know why, just aesthetically. And then like a patch over his eye, so you look like a little pirate pirate cat. Mm -hmm. You need to have a sword. <laughs> so stupid. Reuben! Hmm. I'm trying to like guess what they've discovered. I don't know. I, I'm trying to remember back to Danny's route and like what he found about the... I, I think it was just stuff about the blood, right? How it looks as if... I was like Claire's blood is already cured of the disease, so it has like the the correct antibodies or something. So I, mean, I guess we'll find out in a second. Save. Oh, where's Reuben? Oh, <gasps> no! I wanted to see Ru <laughs> I wanted to see Reuben, not you. Truth does not do as much good in the world as the appearance of truth does evil. Oh, it's you. Well, as you can see, all that's left of Reuben is a cute note, is a curt note, not a cute note. <laughs> Who invited you? I know everything. Wouldn't I, I'm just going to ask the questions. What are you up to, Danny? Me? Nothing special. The only thing of interest keeping me here now is the role Reuben's discovery will play in determining the fate of the polyhedron. Okay, what's the discovery, Danny? Reuben believes he's uncovered your secret. He reached the conclusion after studying the inner structure of Simon Cain. Okay, so he dissected the body further, not just his blood. Okay. And where is he himself? He's gone to the crucible with the good news. And considering that the only good news, as far as the Canes are concerned, would be that Simon is still alive, or was still alive, he probably knows how to resurrect Simon and save the town from the commander's cannons. Otherwise, it's suicidal. Okay. Uh, how Resurrect Simon? How? What are you talking about? He dissected him. Uh, but, but what does this have to do with me? I understand why he considered it to be suicidal. Uh, with what, what with the, how the Canes feel about the desecration of bodies, specifically their grandfather and brother. Uh, what, what does it have to do with, uh, Miss Clara though? I don't know. I think you're part of his calculus. Clara, could he be counting on you? To help implement his plan. And when is Ruben going to be back then? No, quite likely. Quite likely. Never. Why? 
Because the Glorious Kane clan's cards have been reshuffled, Gregory and Victor have faded away. Family tradition requires them to perform some kind of duty that will soon, if not already, result in their demise. Maria is calling the shots now. Okay, so we gotta go see Maria. Does he have a reason to dislike Ruben? I can foresee that she'll have a reason to dislike his discovery. Maria is quite content with the thing, way things stand now. If Gregory and Victor sacrifice them, themselves to the memory of their departed, guess who gets to rule? Okay, I see. So, Reuben does know how to bring Simon back? Simon is not simply dead. He was pulverized into atoms, and drops of him are now coursing through the veins of several hundred people. Oh, I never even considered that, you know? Yeah, like quite literally. Like his genetic structure, and we already know that he's special. Due to his like, you know, crazy longevity. And like he has this weird like sight and with the focus and whatnot. Like he's kind of a magical, magical being. So I didn't even think about like his actual like genetic material, not to sound gross, but pumping through the veins of hundreds of people inside of this very special town. Like what kind of effect that would have oh that's a really cool thought yeah i don't know why i never considered that even a miracle worker can't resurrect someone who's in this state which means that reuben is prof uh, is proposing a half measure that will hardly impress maria enough to make her refuse will you go with me i have other plans reuben is done reuben is doing one stupid thing after another the fact that he's relying completely on you but still hasn't let you know about it is more proof that Reuben primarily seeks to atone his wrongdoings against the Canes. I wouldn't want to interfere. So I'm going to have to go to that horrible place again. <laughs> yep. The horrible place with the horrible beast, Maria. Mm -hmm. Simon. Transformations, metamorphosis again, and again, and over again. How is it possible for demons to change the very nature of themselves. The bachelors involved with me and my plan will take me to the crucible. Again, I'll have to face Maria, for she is the keeper of the key to the mystery which binds me and Reuben together. Oh, so that's our main quest for the day. Okay. Cool. All right. I have a feeling like I'm going to see you again later. Is looking for I'm studying you. But yeah. Oh, Maria. Yeah. What? <laughs> Maria! Oh, God. I just put my head down, lamenting the fact that I had to come visit you, and I got... <gasps> I accidentally almost used my teleport powers. I have to be careful about how I shake my head. That's why I don't do it anymore. Every time I do it, it ends up bad. Uh, I get teleported somewhere awful. Or reality on? collapses in upon itself and multiplies sevenfold. It's very... It's a very weird power. I hate it. Did you see anything weird on your way here? I don't remember coming here. Like I said, I just teleported. No, I'm not taking you seriously anymore. She says something like nonsensical every time she talks to us. Just to like throw us off foot, I swear. Maria, where do they take Reuben? The sentiment is mutual. Where do they take Reuben? Don't you dare touch me, pest. I didn't touch you. I can't shut the door on you. You can't. I can't shut the door on you. You can enter any house, but I will protect my own person from your attentions. Where's Reuben? And then I'll leave. Mm, it's such a shame. I'm losing strength by the minute. And all of the servants capable of bearing arms are taking off. And all of the servants capable of bearing arms are off taking Reuben away. Or else I'd have made short work of you. That's unlikely. I have, I have F5 and F8. To take that. To hell with you. I can't say that. Because this involves Reuben. Why? You two are in on it together, aren't you? Yeah. He said that he was going to carry out his bloody plan using your hands. But don't you worry. When my domestics are back, I'll send them after you immediately. Yeah. They'll never chase up to me. Catch up to me. Okay. That was a really bad conversation. So this will be the field for our final conflict. Maria has decided to destroy Reuben, but he may still be alive. My final confederate, the commander, will help me set him free. Yeah, yeah, we can go ask Alexander Block. Oh my. He's probably not gonna know what's going on though, I bet. Hey, right, let's find out. 
Commander Block, are you aware of your men being ordered to go find Reuben and imprison him? I kind of think not. I'm feverish. Yeah, see, and that's why, too. He's distracted. The Inquisitor and I haven't held counsel, even though it's against the rules. I place my trust in the doctors. Yes, what business brings you here? Uh, has Dr. Reuben been brought... Has a Dr. Reuben been brought here? He is likely accompanied by several armed people. Yes, indeed. A giant man dressed in leather. He was dragged along by 12 people. Was he really a doctor? What had he done to earn such honors? Yes, he is a doctor. What happened to him? It's because of me. He discovered a way to save people. That was, however... However... That was, however, unprofitable to those he trusted. Hmm. Yeah, let's say that. Ah, that explains a great deal. In any case, those who brought him in didn't exactly strike me as pleasant people. I even had to resort to harsh measures. Okay, what happened then? They demanded, an in they demanded in an insolent manner that we place him under arrest. I prohibited that and demanded an explanation from them. Good job. I ordered all of them to be brought here. They refused. A gunfight ensued. We shot four of them and captured three. The rest managed to vanish with the prisoner amid the commotion. Okay, maybe I can get information from the men you captured? You may. I will issue an order to let you into the jail, but be careful. They say it's dangerous inside. Infection. I can't contract the disease. I'm already sick. <laughs> that doesn't matter. So funny her saying she can't contract the disease when we quite literally have like played half of the game diseased the soldiers have attacked maria's oh it was maria's servants then okay gotcha 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 they have captured one of them and thrown him into jail he will tell me where reuben was taken hopefully i don't really have any hooks for him but i suppose we'll find what the fuck it is infecting in here god damn it jesus yeah, those guys are dead. You're dead. You seem the likely candidate. You definitely seem like somebody Maria would employ. Hello? I said I wanted to die, didn't I? Enough temptations for me. I don't need a confessor. Were you among those who accompanied Reuben? Yes, I was. How did you get here? I was covering the retreat of my comrades, and I'm proud of it. Where did they take Reuben? Tell me, and I'll get you out of here. No. It'll be the other way around. You will get me out of here, and then I will tell you. I promise I will. All right, you won't get a chance to break that promise. Wait for me. Hmm, the servant will tell me what I need to know in exchange for a pardon. Will the commander refuse me this key? God damn, dude. It sucks in here. Do I got pills? I do have pills. I just need regular immunity booster. Yeah, I don't, I don't know the pills very well. <laughs> I'll have to look them up before I play Artemy because they're going to play an important role. Oop. Will you, Pwitty, please let that man go? <laughs> Where are the orderlies? Those lazy bastards. I need the prisoner who accompanied Reuben. Why do you need him? He promised to say where Reuben had been taken. Yes? Let him speak while facing the barrel of a rifle. Why release a dangerous rascal into violent proclivities? He pr I promised his freedom, please. He wouldn't talk because of his pride. Yeah. I will do as you ask at my own risk. And from now on, you can always ask me for help. You need protection. Thank you. I wonder why Alexander likes Clara so much. Just because of the, of the soldier that told him that story. Just about like, you know, blessed beings coming down to help people who are in charge like find their north star way of going about calamities i suppose yeah he's like kind of not superstitious but like spiritual in a way he'll take my word for it all right prisoner was set free where is he though yep yeah. hopefully he's just outside of the prison okay cool Deep. hey I'm not that short. You shouldn't breathe prison air for too long. Have you been told what the orders are yet? They're letting you go, so speak. There's one there's one place in town that has sturdy bars on windows. 
It's the works. Oh, okay. They used to imprison those Luddite workers there. Superstitious step folk who would often sabotage the machines. And you know the place I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I'm sure I do. But I'll ask you, where is it? The cellar under the rolling mill. Look here, I'll show you. Yeah, no, I know exactly where it is. All right. Cool. Well, enjoy your freedom. Mm, my reputation's too low. I can't do that. Okay, don't shake your head. No more teleportation. Not like that, anyway. All right. Um, do we get any new letters? Nope. What time is it? 10. Letters will probably come rolling in here any moment. All right. Let's get to the works. Ruben! Is he there? I don't see no one. Oh! <gasps> Oh, hey, what's up? He's not here, huh? That's good, I found you. I can tell you where not Clara is. But yeah, I don't see Reuben. Hello. I hope Aglaia finds a way to preserve the town, if for no other reason than her stubbornness. Oh, not you. Right, if not me, then who? What happened here, Artemis? Can't you see for yourself? I was walking out of my lair, was passing the workshop when I heard a noise. There were six or seven men dragging Stick away. I had to take them on. Sadly, I didn't help Stick in the end. Couldn't push my way through him. Hmm, so they took him again? Yes, they got away. I was pinned down by three of them. Or was it four? <laughs> yeah, your pride's telling you four. The others took him away. I gave them quite a thrashing, but got rough, roughed up myself. Looks like damaged knee and broken ankle, or her but perhaps it'll be all right. I just wish I could get stick out. Could you tell Vlad the Younger, at the very least? Okay, where have they taken him? Perhaps I should tell Grief? Hmm, maybe Grief could help. Why are you saying talk to Vlad the Younger, though? Where have they taken him? I think they were shouting about going to Spinning Yarn Square. Is that where the theater is? Yes. I can guess why. There's a certain place there I wandered into once, a maze underneath the knots. Vlad the Younger had made one of these creep holes when he dug into his well. Okay. And the other one was on the rear side behind the theater. Oh yeah, yeah, I know that place. Yeah, for sure. They got good garbage cans back there. <laughs> Usually lots of bottles. It was there that I saw that creature, that apparition, the Rat Prophet. The Rat Prophet was there. Huh. Yes. Did he show you the way out? I don't know. The exit didn't lead into the theater itself, but a little way behind it. Search there. Or maybe summon this rat devil for help. He must know how to get into that creep hole. I don't want to. I'd rather manage on my own. Yeah. Hey, uh, give me panacea. In truth. Oh, I can't? The town. I know someone who will pay dearly for the opportunity to catch the changeling. What was that? Yeah, I can't do it right now. So we're going to have to run into them later. I'm going to have to find both the boys again. Man. Man. Ah. Yeah. All right. Uh. So. No mime performed is being rehearsed at the theater. Whoosh. Actually, hmm. Maybe we need to be a little careful. I, if they beat up, if they beat up Burak, then yeah, they may not, huh. We might have to fight, which is unfortunate. I blow people up when they're help helpless and defenseless. Not fight them head on <laughs> so much. Is that an herb bride? Oh, it's like a. Oh, it's a rat prophet. Okay. I mean, yeah, I don't really want to talk to him, but that's the best we got right now. Hey, RP. Hold on. Garbage cans. Lo and behold, what do you want, plague? Do you see Reuben being brought here? 
I have witnessed quite a few mysterious events. That one was amongst them. It may have taken place in the future, or maybe in the recent past. Which would you choose? Probably in the past. Careful. It might be a bad call. What do you need Reuben for? I'm going to decide his fate, as was preordained. No. I just need his help. Reuben rests underground. And it doesn't seem like he's getting out of there anytime soon. Are you sure you want to join him? I mean, all I can choose is I, I am. Whoa. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Seriously? I'm fucked. How am I gonna beat that? <laughs> what else am I supposed to do? Oh no. Uh, bandage? What's our health at? I could take one more. I don't, I can't do that. What's my weapon at? 72? It needs to be higher. All right, let me go fix my weapon. And then, uh, oh, okay. I guess I could go find some clothing too. Yeah, all right, I'll be right back. Try to do that. <laughs> 38,000, <laughs> 58K, fuck off. 9,000, I can't. Yeah, well, the bust on that one. All right, got everything fixed. Up to 100%, our health is full. Uh, that's just the best I got. I guess I'll just have to jump around like a maniac and hope for the best. Unless I choose some different... Did you see Ruben? I always choose the future? How about that? Careful, it might be a bad call. I need his help. Ah, fuck. Oh, I didn't save. So I'm gonna have to fix my stuff again. God damn it. <laughs> I haven't even landed a shot yet. I think I could get around them, maybe. Okay. I mean, he is right there. Okay. Yeah, as long as we can get out of the way a little bit. Oh, come on. I can't land a hit. Do it. Okay, there's one. There's one. Here, do I have enough time? Drugs. Boop. Come on, throw your punch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, we're in the guts of the earth. We can hear the chanting, too. Ruben! No loot. No reward. Well, here's our reward. It's right here. There he is. Perfect valor is to do without witness what one would do before all the world. Mm-hmm. I just did it before your eyes and the rap prophets. I'm on my last legs. I can't take it anymore. Are you a ghost? No. I'm Clara. You know, I've been thinking about you all this time. Do you know what your hands are capable of doing? Yes, I work miracles and I heal the sick. You transform blood, Clara. You could turn any of the bound into the kind of being that even Simon was not. I don't know how it happens. Your hands enrich a person's blood with corpulence that doesn't occur in ordinary people. This blood can fight the disease. Oh, interesting. And perhaps. Now listen to me. Burak has uncovered a secret of his father's panacea. He is running short on blood. He's looked everywhere, but he can't find a being whose blood would combine with all the necessary qualities. Blood that could stop the bacteria from multiplying and smother the, the disease. And so my hands can create that kind of blood? Yes. Simon, the all but perfect human being, had the same blood, but it was weak. Simon was very old, and in other respects, his blood was like what Barak sought after, a holy blood, which he still desires. He still tries to wrestle from Foreman on you. All right, so what does this mean? This means that if we agree, we can defend the town both from the disease and the army's cannons. Here's a way. You can transform bound volunteers. Their blood will be spent to make panacea. Oh, that's the sacrifice we have to make. It's cruel, but some of the bound will agree. Why do we specifically need the bound, though? 
I suppose the predisposition in their blood was what made them the bound in the first place. Perfect people with perfect blood. We have, we have to find volunteers amongst the bound who would sacrifice themselves. Simple people from the streets won't do. That's been verified. So yeah, only the special NPCs. So this town's going to turn into a kind of shrine demanding continuous sacrifice? There's even something lofty about it. Many will agree to atone for their wrongs they've inflicted upon the town in their lifetimes. There is, after all, no shortage of, su of such villainous characters here. Bad Grief, Yulia, Sabarovs, Anna, and even, even yours truly. Do I need to make... Do I need to give any further examples? You could easily think of half a dozen more yourself. Oh god, I have to think this over. It's too terrible and too risky. Damn. I mean, that's kind of what we... I didn't think it would be this way, though. But that's kind of what we figured we were going to have to sacrifice people for. But I didn't really understand the method of which we would be sacrificing them. So now it actually kind of makes... Actually kind of makes sense. So, hmm... Interesting. Burke doesn't know the town well enough. Don't rest here. I want to go in further. I've never been down here before. You don't get to come down here as Danny. Where does this connect to and where's the exit for it? Is this just the chamber with the... Uh... We're pretty far away from the polyhedron, though. I mean, not that far, but... Kind of far. Oh, I'm going to get lost. Oh, we got a letter. <laughs> I can't read it right now. I'm in a very dark place. Is this a path? No. That is a crevasse. Okay, I'm lost. <laughs> I'm lost. I don't know where I am. I think this is the path that we just walked up. So if I keep bearing left, then that'll be a new area. Hey, Vla Vlad! Vlad, I'm down here. Vlad, please. Send help, Vlad. Vlad! I don't think he can hear me. <laughs> Shit, I can't jump out. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So we do have a map of sorts with the arrow that does follow us. Okay. So we're at young Vlad's place. So if I keep going left from here, if I can, then I can get over to the heart where the polyhedron is. But I don't know if that's the way out of here. I can't get back up the way I came. Oh no, my arrow is stuck. It's on stuck on young Vlad's place. Does that mean that there is an exit way there? Then I'm just, I didn't do it right. I don't know. Oh, there's the dead guys. Yeah, there's no other way. I think I've checked every single route. So I gotta go back up the way I came, I suppose. Can I reach it though? This we'll find out in a second. Oh yeah, okay. Well, that was an adventure. <laughs> cool. And we got two letters, but we need to complete this first. Oh, it is, it's tracking down the bachelor and the prospects. Fuck, man. Seriously? I'm going to do that off camera, I think. Because it's, it's the same quest three days in a row. I've discovered the true nature of my gift. The ability to transform blood. Simon is not... So, you just turn people's blood into people who have, like, a, a blood immune response to that. To the infected blood. So, yeah, basically an immunity type blood. Hmm. Why do people, some, some people blow up then? Oh, because maybe they're not the bound. Like it just blows up. That's why it's either, it'll blow up people who are not like special. So it's only some people. But if you combine that, like if she turns people's blood into the special blood, you can then like culture that blood, you know, through the, through the inoculation process to, to create panaceas. Okay. Yeah. No, it makes sense. Yeah, it makes total sense. That's cool. This quest has been very enlightening. I love it. Simon is no human being. There are only bound and the people that follow him. A single touch of mine is enough to distinguish Simon's bound, to turn them into imitations of Simon, willing 
to give their lives and sacrifice themselves to keep the town alive. The road to salvation is clear. I will go to the Inquisitor, uh, Inquisitor tomorrow. And that's completed. Yeah, that's all done. Nice. Tracking down her aspects. Aglaia asked me to find Barak. I need to find the bachelor and warn him of danger. Who gave me that letter? Yeah, it's Maria. <laughs> okay. Warn him, mistress of the earth. Let us forget our rivalry for a while. Only when you need something. When I need something, it's quite the opposite. Yep. I have yet another request to make of you. No doors are closed before you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I will do those quests. Hey, Army. Oh, wait. I got a tiptoe. God damn it! Ah. Mm -mm. Psst. My teeth hurt with all the grinding. So it is exactly the same quest. I wanted to warn you, Barack. The uh, bachelor's after you. Find you soon. You know what happens then. Ah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm warning you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Go away, Barack. And There's also, to talk about now. I do know who you're hunting. Mm hmm. Sister, give me panacea. Oh, giving her up causes a big hit to her reputation as well. Shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Does that mean I still have to truck down the prospects? Yeah, I have to go back and. I mean, at least we get a reward for it what and that? stuff. So that's nice. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be. You gotta. You got, you got, Daniel, Daniel, there you are. God damn, this, this, this sucks. You two, you and Artemy need to f figure out your shit. This is driving me crazy. Is looking for I want to warn you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> now I get out of here. Tippy toe, tippy toe, tippy toe. No! <laughs> No, bro. Oh, oh, you're stuck. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Get me out of here. Whoo. No. <laughs> no. Oh. All right, I'm ready to go back to the real world. I'm done with the pathologic world for today. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm going to turn these two things in and I'll call it there. I'll see you guys next week. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Lone, and this has been Pathologic. <laughs>